What's going on, guys? PSVR Gamer here with some more 7 Days to Die gameplay. Here we are on day 14. Uh, last time I left you guys, we had just finished dealing with the day 7 horde, and we are expecting the second horde tonight. And I've done some things since the last time I saw you. One was built this structure right here, a little watchtower. Base is surrounded by spikes, as you can see, so I built a little uh, bridge from my bridge that will take me to not the top of this watchtower, but the, the, the place where you want to be. I've got these bo iron bars coming out here so you can walk around the side and shoot down at the zombies as they come in. So that works very well. Just got to be careful. You don't want to fall down off of here onto your spikes and onto the zombies. Kill yourself like an idiot. That would suck ass. So these little blocks here will provide some uh, blockage from the spitters and shit when they show up. Uh, but it also works as a little step stool to get me to the top of... Uh, the tower itself. Now, I could continue to go up and build this, but there's really no point in doing that um, because you got to deal with the horde one way or another. But I did build a little ladder, hollowed out the middle so I can get down here, ground level, shoot through these bars uh, as the zombies come in as well. And I put a little trap door here and started digging down. I got to finish it. I kind of want to uh, dig a tunnel, uh, maybe to the house or to the barn. It'd just be another way to get in and out of this place uh, quickly if I need to. Because right now, I just got to get in through this this bridge here because, like I said, the, the floor is surrounded by spikes. So, built up this area some more with spikes. If you watched my first video, it was pretty torn up uh, after the first horde. This is the area I, I held down during the first horde. So, I've got all the spikes here built back up and uh, ready to go in case, you know, I got to run from the watchtower over to this area. Draw the zombies over here. Let them run through all these spikes and let the spikes do a bunch of work. And then you can always rebuild when it's all done. So at this point in the day, I, I went off to town, did some more searching, didn't find anything too great, just kind of some miscellaneous items. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them down in the basement and then we'll get ready for this incoming horde. Now, one of the thing I've done since the last video is I found the mini bike book for dumb shits and I almost got it all put together. Um, the only thing I'm missing is a set of tires, which I totally spaced out on, but that's pretty easy to find pretty much in any garage. Sometimes uh, along the road and definitely at the junkyard if you can make your way over there which I believe is in the southeast portion of the map there are a ton of tires there and basically just hit the tire with your axe and sometimes you might get nothing from it but uh, if you're lucky sometimes you'll get a set of tires out of it and uh, that's all I need to do and then I'll be able to get this mini bike put together and I can use that to go to different locations in the map and do some looting and shit like that and I believe you can even add a basket to your mini bike for additional storage which is great now there is a couple of other items you're gonna need for the mini bike that when I first started playing this game I found them a little bit hard to find and one is leather so if you have a wrench and you can find a fully put together car you start taking it apart and you're gonna get some leather from there or if you wanna get a whole bunch of leather in one shot there's a hotel on the east side of the map it's just below the old west town if you can get over there and get inside there are a ton of leather couches in there there's a bunch in the lobby some on the second floor and one in every room so if you go through that hotel taking out all the couches and all the beds in each room you will leave with a ton of leather and the other item is cable and uh, you can easily get cable just by taking apart any refrigerator so that's it when you want if you want to build the mini bike your biggest uh, the biggest problem is going to be just finding the mini bike book for dumb shits because you can't assemble it until you find that book so uh, here we go a bunch of zombies just piling up in one area I'm just gonna shoot down on them with these arrows but I'm gonna get a little bored of doing that plus I want to show you guys some gunplay and uh, a different viewpoint as well so um, right now I'm using the steel arrows that I have on hand figured might as well just get rid of these and uh, then I'm gonna switch over to the shotgun and head down to the ground level like I said show you what it's like down there and uh, and yeah, just show you some different stuff. I don't want to just, I, you know, I mean, yeah, I could sit up here and shoot down on them with arrows all night, but that can be kind of boring. So we'll get down here. This is what it's like. Pretty safe and secure down here. Load up this shotgun and just start blasting away. And it's that simple. It's a pretty nice, easy, simple setup right here. Doesn't take long to build. And uh, it seems to be doing a pretty damn good job. We'll see how it holds up uh, as, as we progress through these different hordes. And uh, I'm going to back up here, and as you can see, it's taking a little bit of damage, but nothing to be worried about. And I can upgrade all of this stuff even more with iron, and I will do that, but for now it's fine. They're not going to break through here. I mean, if I was really worried about it, I could start repairing this shit, but it's not a big deal. Like I said, they're not going to get through. I can just repair it all in the morning. I'm going to uh, venture out, get some more iron in the morning, and uh, upgrade this structure the best I can. So, I mean, I know it's only day 14. It's only the second horde, but... 
I think this structure is doing well. I am definitely loving the farm. I think I'm going to stick it out here and just keep building up this entire area. Now, I know I said this farm basically has unlimited food with all the corn around and shit, but you want to be careful. You don't want to just eat corn. You definitely want to throw some meat into the mix. That's how I got my health and stamina up to 108 right now. Went out and hunted a couple of deer, and you can either char the meat or boil the meat or grill it or whatever. But as long as you, you eat some meat, something with substance, and get yourself full from that every once in a while, you will continue to upgrade your health and stamina. And you can keep going with it as long as you don't get a hit. You know, if you get hit too many times by zombies or you start bleeding out, uh, if you take too much damage, eventually your health and stamina will get downgraded a point. But I've been doing pretty well so far. Uh, I haven't gotten downgraded yet, so we'll see what I can get my uh, health and stamina up to by the time I make the third video for the Day 21 Horde, which i got to imagine will still be back at this farm. Like I said, I'm going to have the mini bike built in the next day or so, and I will definitely let you guys check that out in the next video. We'll go for a cruise somewhere, uh, maybe into town or something. Maybe we'll go check out the hospital if I don't do that within the next seven days. But either way, we'll take the mini bike for a cruise. I'll show you uh, what I've built up, and then we'll take on the third Horde. Uh, in the next video so and like I said it's gonna be here at the farm you know I, I will probably at some point venture out and start a second base somewhere but I'm really digging the farm I like it here I'm just gonna keep building this up maybe I'll build a second watchtower who knows so um, yeah, I'm gonna head over here in the barn area this is the area that I held down uh, for the first horde and this is a great area to be to I'm just gonna bring these straggling zombies over here and like I said I really don't have to take any shots at them I can just let them run through these spikes let the spikes do all the work and that's pretty much what I'm going to do here for the remainder of the horde. And it's winding down now, uh, so I'm going to walk over to the roof of the shed. Let continue to let the spikes do their work, and I'll probably take a couple more shots at them with the bow and arrow just to get rid of them quicker so I can go ahead and drop down there and start rummaging through the corpses. So here we are. Horde's dead. I'm going to pull out the shotgun just in case, drop down and start going through these bodies. Now this can be one of the more daunting tasks, but you got to do it. You can find some really good shit in these bodies. Uh, ammo, which I'm going to find right here. Um, you know, schematics. Who knows? You never know what you're going to find, but it's definitely worth searching through these bodies when the horde is all gone. Sometimes you might want to wait until the morning. If you're going to do it while it's still night like I'm doing right here, you probably want to have a, a weapon on you, like I got the shotgun out now, because a straggler dog does come running up on me and... Uh, Luckily, like I said, I got the shotgun out, so I'll just blast him and deal with that easy. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. The next video will take place on day 21. I will take you guys out for a cruise on the mini bike, show you all of the things I've built up leading up to that day, and then we will take on the third horde, which uh, should not be too much of a problem. I believe the third horde is when the police spitters show up, but uh, we'll find out for sure pretty soon. There's that dog. I miss him on the first shot. Take him out with the next two. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Hit that subscribe button if you are excited for the PlayStation VR come October 13th. It's going to be crazy. I got a ton of gameplay lined up for you guys. And uh, I'm also doing a review for the Black Ops 3 DLC 4 in just a couple of days, so stick around for that. Uh, follow me on Twitter. It's at PSVRGamer. I follow all gamers back. And uh, thanks for sticking around, guys, and I will catch you all in the next video.